Have you ever tried to watch a video online only to find that the full screen button just doesn't work? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're tackling the issue of full screen video not working inside a web view. I understand how annoying it is when you're trying to enjoy a video and the full screen feature just won't cooperate. You're definitely not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when working with web views. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, why is the full screen button for videos inside a web view not working? They mentioned that it works on older devices but fails on newer ones. Sound familiar? If so, let's dig into this together and find a solution. So, what could be causing this issue? It seems that the full screen functionality behaves differently across Android versions. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand what's going on. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you ensure your full screen feature works smoothly across all devices. To address the full screen issue in the web view, the user should first ensure that the Video Web Chrome client is correctly implemented. This involves checking the on show custom view method to confirm that it properly handles the transition to full screen. Next, the user should examine the on hide custom view method. This method must be called when exiting full screen. The user should ensure that the visibility of the views is correctly set back to their original states. The user should also check for any potential conflicts with the web view settings. Specifically, they should ensure that JavaScript is enabled and that the web view client is properly configured to handle URL loading. Finally, the user should test the implementation on different devices and Android versions. This will help identify if the issue is specific to NuGet or if it occurs across other versions as well. Did you know? The first mobile phones were so bulky that they could double as a weightlifting tool. Thankfully, technology has come a long way, but we still face some quirky issues. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests fixing the full screen issue by setting a specific user agent string for KitKat devices. This adjustment resolves the erratic behavior of the on show custom view and on hide custom view methods on newer devices. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always keep your web view and web Chrome client implementations updated. This can save you from many headaches down the line. And there you have it. With these steps, your full screen button should be working smoothly now. Remember, keeping your code updated is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our bonus tip on optimizing web views.